On today's video, I'll be using the Amiga emulator on the Pow Kitty X55 handheld video game system. And uh, first, I'm going to take out my micro SD card, which I did. Just press on it, and it should just come out like that. I put it into my uh, USB uh, micro SD card reader, like that. And I'll stick this into my computer to put some Amiga ROMs, games, and uh, the BIOS files. Okay, so now I'm back on my computer. I'm going to stick in my micro SD USB card reader. Should come right up. There it is. So you'll need to get the BIOS files. These BIOS files are called Kickstart files, Kickstart ROM files, and firmware files. You could get it here, Battle Zero 33. This has all the bio, uh, the BIOS files, including the Commodore Amiga. Just download it and open it up. And um, I have mine here. Go to BIOS. Um, go to BIOS file on the USB as well. The ones that you want are called Kickstart files. So everything here, just dump it right into the BIOS folder. I already have them in there, as you can see. Those are the only uh, firmware files or BIOS files that you'll need from Battlestar 33. And as for the games or discs, uh, you can find them at myabandonware.com. You could go here. I'll, I'll leave all the URLs in the video description below. Go to Amiga and you can find all the games. That you, some of them you'll have to pay for, but most of them are free, as you can see. Get whatever you want. Okay, that's where you get all the stuff. Now, um, I'm going to put some games into the Amiga folder, which is right here. Amiga. As you can see, I already put some of them in here. Put another one in there. And another. And that's it. And let's also put D47 in there. Uh, as for multi-disc games, you have to do you have to create a .m3u file. I'll show you how to do that right now. So this game, Nuclear War, has two discs. So open up Notepad. Just type in Notepad like so. I'll open up a new one. Okay, good. I'll just copy, press F2, highlight all this, Control C, put it there, F2, highlight all, Control C. I'm going to copy it into this directory. Control C. Save as. Control C, Control V. I'll save it as nukewar.m3u. This is the file that I'll be using. And there's another multi disc game. Uh, it's called It Came from the Desert. stuff in there let's I'll make this one uh, let's just make gods something as simple as this another one control C again save as control V 
Oh my gods, .m3u. So I created some M3U files. That's good. That's all I need. So these are the only games I really want to play. And they're single disc games you can also play. And I'll see you on the Pow Kitty X55 next. So just eject this and put it back into the Cow Pit. Cow. Pow Kitty X55. Okay, now I'm back on my Pow Kitty X55. So I'm going to take this out and put it back into my X55 so just put it right here in the secondary slot just like that I have a OTG to USB adapter for a wireless keyboard and mouse as you can see so I'm gonna stick that in it doesn't matter what kind of keyboard you use, you could use a full size 101 key, keyboard or something as small as this. This one has a mouse and a keyboard. So let's get started. I'm going to turn this on right now. Wait until the green light comes on, like that. Keyboard right there. Let's see if I see the Amiga. Amiga is right there, okay. Press A. Let's just run a game like Commando, just any old game. It should work just right out of the box, but let's let me show you how to change some of the settings. You can press select and X to get into this menu. Uh, you can go to, well, I'll go to disk controls next for the uh, multi-platform stuff. And go to core. Try system. Okay, you can set different uh, machines, different uh, Amiga models. Right now, I have the Amiga 500 selected, which is this one. But I could select whatever I want. I'll select this. We'll try that. Kickstart, we could select the kickstart as well. We just put automatic, which is okay. That's for that. Let's go to media. Floppy disk speed, I like to set it a turbo so the games load pretty quickly. Let me go back, back, resume telling me to click on the left mouse button to continue. So I have a mouse here, so left mouse button. So I press, and now it's starting up. You could hear that floppy disk noise, right? Okay, you could press select to enter keys. Just okay, to start. Let's see. If you want to select joystick, I think you can. It's right here. M, J, and M. To press B to select whatever you want. Right now I can't use it because I selected the mouse. So I'm going to select that again. J, M. Now I could use it. See? I'm playing it as you can see. It's really nice having such a big monitor like this. 
Okay, so let me get out of here so I can start select, start select. That gets me out of here. Okay, now let me try to run a multi disc game like uh, Nuclear War. Let's we'll, we'll try that. Press A to start that. I'm going to select the M3U file that I created. Instead of selecting this one and this two, I'll select that. This will enable me to run multi disc games. So everything I saved on the options uh, part is saved. This game you need a mouse to play it. So I will use a mouse to play it. If it asks me for a disc, I'll show you how to change the disc. Okay, so I'm going to be playing with the mouse, as you can see. Okay, so let me get out of here. So I, if you want to change discs, it's uh, select and X to get here. Disc control here. You could load a new disc. You could select this too, like that, if you want. That's how you switch discs. Let me play another multi disc game. <coughs> Get out of here and try. Try this. So I'll be running the M3U file, which I called, which I made into desert. Desert.m3u.
could use a. You want to start a new game? Yes, I do. It says insert D uh, save or something. So I'll go back to select X, go back to disk control, disk control. Maybe that's disk two, I think. left mouse click. Let's see if that works. It appears to be working. <coughs> so I changed it to disk 2. It didn't say disk 2 but it must, be, it must have been the right one. Okay, at least it's working. Okay, that's enough. I'm going to exit. We'll try one more game. Play. I have to use a keyboard to do that. No. Analog stick, sorry, the left analog. What I have to do, click, click, click my mouse or something? Yeah, I have to left click with my mouse. I could use the mouse or that. Right click. I left click with that. Okay, good. It's asking for F1 or F2. Press select. I'm going to go here and press, go to F1 there and press B. And I should be able to start. If you don't want to use a keyboard, you could do that. If you want to use a keyboard, it has to be on um, scroll lock. But this keyboard does not have scroll lock, unfortunately. Okay, that's it. So be able to use it. That's pretty much it for this uh, tutorial video. If you have any questions or thoughts, you could leave it in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.